Hey guys, yes, yes, yes. Welcome to the Lynch YouTube channel. Welcome if you're new and welcome if you're not. So, guys, we've got to talk about Will and Jada. So, as you guys may know by now, Will's assistant has been out here spilling the tea. He has been spilling the tea. He's not keeping anything to himself. He thinks Will's business is our business, and we love that here. So, according to him, allegedly, you know, Will Smith has, you know, been participating in in you know sexual activity he's participated in sexual activity with a man and if you guys remember there was rumors about will smith and you know him helping you know p diddy allegedly organize his you know gay sex parties and now you know there was also rumors that you know p diddy and will smith were you know lovers and now this so i'm gonna let you guys listen to what he's told tasha k and then we'll talk about it a bit more who'd you walk in on him and Dwayne Martin. Okay. Hollywood is the hurry up and, and, and wait game. So three minutes later after them telling me, hey, you got eyes on Will, you got, we, we, we need him to come watch this. So I'm running all over the, the, the studio. He's not in his dressing room. I go to the cafeteria. I'm like, well, but I see his car there. I'm like, where's this guy at? So now I'm holding Dwayne down too. So I have the keys to his dressing room. So I'm like, yo, and they're calling my, my they, I'm on walkie talkie and they're calling my cell phone. Yo, we need to get Will here. And I'm like, yo, kind of fucked down. Like I'm trying to find is like, this is, this is unlike him, right? So all right, I open the um, door to Dwayne's dressing room and that's when I see Dwayne and having anal sex with Will. Let me process that for a second. There was a couch and um, Will was bent over on the couch and Dwayne was standing up, killing him. Murder, like murder. It was murder in there. Now, the way he told that story, you know, he told that story like a man that, you know, knows what he's talking about. He knows what he saw. And I can almost visualize it. Dwayne sounds like he was killing it right then. You know, the way he's talking, it, you know, it sounds like it was going down, down, down. Now, am I surprised? Mm. Ish. I'm kind of surprised. I'm not surprised though, based on the fact that you know we've heard the rumors about Will. But I'm surprised because I never looked at Will like a guy that was you know getting down with men. He never seemed like he was you know gay or anything like that. I never thought anything like that about him. And you know I know you can't necessarily tell, but you know as far as we knew, he was straight. You know he was on his second marriage, and you know. I was most definitely surprised. But this may explain a bit more why, you know, Jada, you know, treats Will the way she treats him. Because I thought the other day, you know, Jada is really here, out here, just, you know, telling Will's secrets, you know, ruining Will's career. I feel like Will, you know, he had a big career, a career that was, um, you know, way bigger than Jada Pinkett could have even dreamed of. And I always felt like, you know, some of her motivation was possibly jealousy. She was possible jealousy, um, possibly jealous at the fact that, you know, Will had this much more successful career than her. Because Will was going to go down as a legend, you know. Will was going to be, you know, one of those guys you're talking about in years to come. He was going to be one of those guys where, you know, he's, you know, his movies were going to be, you know, always talked about. His acting skills were always going to be appreciated. Will was going to stay at the top of his games till the day he died. And it felt like Jada was out here just trying to kill his reputation, kill his career. Like, she didn't really want to see her husband win. Like, she was out here to destroy him. And it seemed like, you know, the older he got, the more Jada, you know, wanted to just, you know, ruin this man. But now it's starting to make more sense because if Dwayne is killing it, P Diddy's killing it, it's all going down. It would make more sense where she may have got this sort of bitterness towards Will, where she may have been fed up, where she may have been like she had to get it on with um, August because she was being neglected at home because her husband was allegedly killing it and busy with other men. It could make more sense as to why Jada seems like, you know, Jada seems like this, you know, woman out here who is out here trying to, you know, ruin her husband. But although she's always seemed like she's trying to embarrass her husband, ruin her husband, you know, make him drop down from that pedestal that he was going to be on, she does not want this 
particular allegation to spread and she has said she's gonna sue him now suing him does not mean what he's saying is not true it just means they need to shut him up and they need to shut him up as quick as they can and you know being you know sued by a couple with as much money as this can actually be you know quite scary because i'm sure his finances are nowhere in their league but as i said that doesn't mean it's not true it just means they need to shut him up quick and scare him Sorry, about the allegations there's like you know time. like uh -huh. so many rumors anything Keep you want to say we Thank still want i know that's right so now she's bothered about, you know, her husband's reputation. See, she could tell and say anything she wants about her husband. But now she sees other people are talking about her husband. She's like, mm hmm, maybe I took this too far. Because if she had not brought Will out in the public and constantly exposed him and, you know, highlighted him in such a, you know, negative light, maybe people wouldn't be feeling motivated to talk about him so much so now you've got this guy out here you know telling you know his alleged secrets now it's starting to seem like in this industry if you ain't taking you know what it seems like you can't be getting nowhere because man after man after man is coming out it's starting to seem like there is you know absolutely no men in this industry who are straight or you cannot be straight or remain straight to be able to make it in this game it seems like you have to be bending over for somebody to be getting anywhere now if the rumors about will these allegations are true this isn't the only gay man you know that jada pinkett has you know been with in recent times as august alcina also come out as gay after you know his you know affair with um jada pinkett will's character and you know reputation seems to be really getting destroyed over the last few years and you know it's like he's in the wrong company whether that be his wife his assistant his friends it's like there's people here who just don't want to see him win and do well and they're literally killing off his reputation the whole thing where he hit chris you know i feel like you know was that a case of him feeling like he needs to you know prove his masculinity to jada pinkett you know that seemed really out of character for him and it just seems like you know the downfall of will is coming and it seems like it's coming very quick jada seems to really be you know participating in the downfall of um, will smith and i think without jada he could get himself you know back to where he was before get his status back up and have people talking about him in a positive light let me know what you think in the comments below is jada the reason why you know will smith's reputation and career seems to be going you know nowhere right now anyway guys thanks for watching don't forget to like comment and subscribe and see you guys another one about the allegations, there's like, you know, like so many rumors, anything you want to say, we still win. I know that's right.